out here where the crash happened, you can take a look and see there are still tire marks leading all the way over here to this tree that Jason hit. Now, the question that everyone is still asking is what happened after that? The search is on after authorities found Jason's wallet and phone in his abandoned car. I guess some people have asked, could it be possible he could be hiding or scared because he wrecked the car? His dad paces back and forth just outside of the search site, waiting, wanting Jason to know everything is going to be okay. Several agencies and even locals like Stuart Carter have been looking for Jason. It's uh, thousands of acres and uh, today I'm searching close to the roads as possible. Do you have any idea where he might be out here? I think he's trying to go, you know, he, he's heading for help and he might have lost energy. And, and we... uh, we're still concentrating on some areas such as the creeks and the water, uh, but uh, right now we still haven't found him. Sergeant Dion Cockrell with the Texas Department of Safety says they are being thorough. Video, cameras, whatever we can use to, to scour the area. As Jason's family waits, his dad has a message for his son. We just want you home. Nothing else. Nothing else matters. I love you, son.